Salar, the highly anticipated Telugu film of the year, has finally been released worldwide today. The film divided into two parts, with the first part titled Cease Fire is written and directed by Prashant Neel. Prabhas takes on the role of Salar, also known as Deva, while Prithvi Raja Sukumaran plays a significant role as Prabhas's friend. Salar was initially reported to be adapted from the Kannada film Ugram, which was Prashant Neel's debut work, as officially stated by the director. This aspect might have raised concerns before the film's release, but Neel effectively dispelled any doubts with his impressive storytelling and adoption. The narrative of Salar begins with the friendship between Deva and Varada, but evolves into a story of two dynasties vying for a throne in the city of Kansar. The drama explores the separation of the two friends during childhood and their reunion after 25 years. Prashant Neel's storytelling is the essence of the film. Audience are familiar with Ugram may notice the similarities in the story, but they can also appreciate Neel's evaluation in storytelling from Ugram in 2014 to Salar in 2023. Neil avoids uh, intentional elevations and high movements in Salar, a departure from his approach in the KGF series. The first half borrows the screenplay from Ugram, emphasizing Prabhas's character more than his stardom. However, the second part uh, stands out with its uh, detailed exploration of uh, political drama in Kansar city. In Neil's uh, perspective, Salar is a blend of Ugram's story, KGF screenplay, and the exploration of a new fictional political drama. Prabhas deserves appreciation for trusting Neil's storytelling over the action that typically suits his stardom. His appearance in the film is among his best since Bahubali, contributing to several top quality scenes. Pridhviraj Sukumaran aptly fits uh, the role of Varda, complementing Prabhas's uh, stature in the film. Shruti Hasan has a limited scope to perform, while Ishwari Rao, Prabhas's mother, seizes her opportunity. Jagapati Babu's potential seems uh, underutilized in the first part, while Shriya Reddy and Jhansi deliver impressive performances. Bobby Simha promises uh, much uh, for the second part. Bhuvan Gauda's cinematography follows the pattern of KG of Asper Neil's vision, delivering top top-notch visuals, especially in the action sequences set in Kansar city. Ravi Barsur's background score is good, though one might expect more after his work in KGF. Highlights of the film include the childhood friendship story, Neil's effective use of Prabhas's stature, the interval action episode, the intricate layers of political drama, a noteworthy action sequence referencing Goddess Kali, the prabhas Pridhviraj bromance, a courtroom elevation and the promising lead to the second part. On the downside, the female lead's role has a little significance. The portrayal of the mother's emotion is only partially presented and the background score is uh, slightly weaker compared to Ravi Barsur's uh, previous works. In conclusion, Salar might not satisfy fans of uh, action movies, particularly those who enjoyed KGF. However, it also stands on its own as a film with a deep drama interspersed with action, provided it is uh, viewed independently without uh, comparisons uh, to Ugram or KGF. The film is undoubtedly worthy of a sequel.